that's some light on this. I think there are certain coal mines in Australia which have got contracts which uh, uh, stretch uh, ahead into the decades uh, with uh, Chinese companies. And uh, there's a place outside Sydney called Wollongong, uh, which is a, an industrial port. And you can see a stream of uh, these uh, freight ships coming from China to Wollongong port and all the way back. So it's literally like a, it's like a shuttle service. So mining is one area, sir. If anybody has any solid proposals, any areas in which uh, they would like to try and find a joint venture partner. My only submission is that we have to move ahead in a focused manner. We cannot say that there is tremendous potential. That is not enough. You cannot come to Sydney, meet with a mining company and say there is a lot of potential there. You have to say that this is the area, that this is the amount of investment that is required, this is the background data, this is what we can bring to the table, this is what we want you to do. And if you can bring us mining projects, <clears throat> yesterday Madam President had a very fruitful meeting with the Prime Minister of Kashmir. We also requested him the same thing, that uh, Kashmir has uh, lots of gemstone uh, areas. So, but we need specific areas, <clears throat> specific projects. Then, if you pass those on to the consulate, you can must pass them on to John as well over here. <coughs> we have established a Pakistan-Australia Business Council. The Vice President is here. <coughs> we have an excellent working relationship <coughs> in Sydney. Then we can go about marketing these projects. But we need to know the parameters, the background details, the potential, some vague kind of financials which are involved. <coughs> Clean path. Again, an area where Australia has tremendous expertise. New South Wales has had a, a very good experience with solar power generation at home. Through reverse metering, they have been feeding the power produced on top of people's homes into the national grid. <coughs> Linda informs me that they've had to stop the project because it's become so successful. Now, virtually, uh, we, we need to really try and tap into this information base. On the one hand, we have a country which is Syria, Pakistan, which is suffering from serious power shortages, which impact on all, all of your businesses. On the other hand, we are living uh, in a country in Australia where there is too much power. So it's it's a management issue. So again, the solar, I feel, feel that we are going to have detailed discussions regarding solar in the Punjab with the Punjab Chief Minister and the PBIT. I think that this is a, this is a, once it takes off, it can virtually be an explosion. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sir. You, if there are uh, options of solar tube wells, because we have made huge <coughs> of tube wells, and there's no precisely, sir. Tube wells, street lights, and uh, billboards, for instance, uh, these are areas that we can uh, uh, start off with. Of course, there is a higher cost to solar, but again, if we try and get some panels from China or to work, Big deal. Maybe there's funding available as well, and then there's a carbon trading aspect to it. So clean power generation, uh, uh, not only from solar, but then run of the river. Again, run of the river is something which Australia can support. Australia has uh, expertise in because Australia is a very, very environmentally conscious uh, country. Not only the government, but also the private sector and its citizens. So again, if we can have specific locations. And the megawattage. Is it a 7 megawatt plant that can be installed in a certain area? Is it a 20 megawatt plant? But if you give us a small little brief regarding that, okay. then again perhaps Kashif and I can go around and try to. Livestock is uh, an area which I'm personally very keen on because I, uh, I, I love nature and I love being uh, out in the countryside. Australia has some of the best livestock in the world. And uh, I, I know for a fact that uh, there are a couple of companies which have imported Australian livestock for crossbreeding purposes. There is, uh, there is also a phenomenal uh, technological uh, database and expertise which is available to all uh, corporate farmers uh, in Pakistan who must, in a focused manner, try to tap into that wealth of information. For instance, our crop yields are low, our meat yields are low. Uh, despite our milk yields being low, we are one of the fifth largest producers of milk in the world. I believe there are some impediments.